Hello everyone, this is Clausius, and welcome back to Daily Game Review number 52. Today we have Negro vs Bronco, and I have no idea what the ranks are, so we will see how the game plays out as we look at it. Alright, so Nirensei, uh, changing it up a little bit, uh, going for a different conventional opening than the top right corner and the bottom right corner, but rather this combination. Okay, Chinese opening. Common moves. Uh, more commonly in the Chinese opening against this approach, uh, I've seen this variation a lot. And I'm going to show it so that you guys uh, can see it. Uh, this is the Joseki I've seen more often against the Chinese opening. Uh, and maybe some players will like this better than more than others. Uh, as white, I particularly like this because I think it's kind of cool. Uh, it's important to note that this corner is alive as long as t4 is sente. The moment t4 is not sente, you need to fix this corner, or it is a ko, I believe. Either death or ko, but I know it's not alive completely without t4 being sente. Alright, well there's that variation. So perhaps black didn't like that and plays this way, but this is really flat because there is a shoulder hit here. So I'm not a fan of this move exactly. Okay, we used to play this. And white decides to pincer to not give black the whole side. Black jumps to make some moya. Okay, we see some basic Josekis. Since this is a 3 4 stone, you could actually push even more. Like so. Because it's 3 4, you can actually make really big thickness this way. This move's also fine, but now there's a way out. You normally want to fix like this. In this case and there's some still some Aji uh, in this corner but still fine still fine not a bad plan however black tanuki now you should note that there is a way to break out here because of this breakout I can't say this moyo is perfect uh, normally you'd want to fix to have a very large moyo but then of course that shoulder hits really annoying all right so black decides to just come in white pincers Black doesn't want to get surrounded, so black plays this way. Mm -hmm. This shape is a little slow. Ah. Interesting move, interesting move. So the idea here is, white is saying that if black takes the corner like so, that it's too damaging on the outside. Uh, I think... It's okay just to take the points though. Because you can still attack black. So I don't see this being an issue. Uh, however, if you lose the corner. If you lose a corner and black gets something like this, it feels like black's getting too much. And black took all your points. You're not going to get enough profit from this to make up for the corner. So I think maybe it was a bad decision here. Uh, this is also a bad decision because as soon as black takes, black's connected, and black at the corner and connected, so this Atari can't be right. Uh, if, don't respond again. If you're going to respond, respond here. That way you can threaten the cut. Mm. However, you need to Tanuki. You need to play somewhere else now. Uh, that way you get the first move somewhere else. However, if you play this move, it's black decision to go somewhere. Because this is not sent against black. However, black did respond, which is really, really small, because you can't cut black. There's no way to cut black. So there's no reason to respond. So perhaps black could go here and threaten to attack this group while reducing white's influence and making his own mayo. Something like this would be cool. Uh, black should take the free move. This is a really small move. Alright, so I decided to come in here uh, white need to be a little careful because if you get cut, uh, you have to live on the inside. I would normally make a combination first. Perhaps you could even attach here. Seems interesting because if he does this, you can just connect back. So be careful here. Mm. Difficult. Difficult to say. This feels like it'll be heavy if black 
keeps and then cuts. Or how about cut here? White feels really heavy, so I think you need a different move. Uh, I'm not sure what the different move is though. Maybe an attachment here, an attachment here, a sabaki shape here, or here. I think you need a different move. You don't want to be heavy so quickly. However, black chose this move. This move is really small. Black, you should uh, surround white. This is an inside move. You're not trying to live, so it feels like it's too. You're trying to be greedy and just take some points, but white will be able to get out very quickly now. So white could easily just play something like this. White chooses to connect. Also fine. Completely fine. And now white was able to do this with uh, out suffering any damage. So black, you sh didn't gain enough in there. All right, so black's going for the Moyo. I think I would start here because this is a weak group, and you want to aim at weaknesses first. It's a lot easier to aim at weaknesses and get things done than it is to just uh, aim here. Because after you do this, white actually gets some points here. And this is not a very big Moyo because white can still shoulder hit. Like I said way back when, this shoulder hit's very easy for white to do. Uh, white goes up. Uh, okay, I would stop now. I wouldn't go any further because this is already fixed and you don't want to force black to make the points on the inside. So white's actually forcing black to make points and you don't want to do that. Uh, that's a really weird move. Let's go in, reduce. The line of the Moyo, maybe this is too deep now because black's really thick. So perhaps you back, have to back off one line now. Um, I would reduce this big black area. It's really, really large. I would reduce it. But this move is really strange. I don't know what it is. Uh, also really strange. It... Ah. Here, here, here. Here, 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 here. A lot of reduction. Um... There's a lot of Aji in there. A lot of Aji in there. I think I, you can also just escape as well. Really? Go here. This also works. And you can, even if it doesn't, you can simply escape. So, this cut is overplay. Black has too many options. Black should be able to just do something. Mm -hmm. Don't cut. Threaten to. Unless you're going to extend with the stone here, then the, don't cut. Actually, I would just go here and save the cut because you can't extend later. So if you go here and then later you can cut and make a very large influence. I think that's better. Yeah, here you actually just forced white to capture you, so you could have done this without losing one stone. Mm-hmm. Okay, here... Mm, there's still a cut here. So I think I would 3-3. Three, three. Difficult to say, actually. Difficult to say. This, this center is getting destroyed, and this is becoming very weak, because now white's got here, and what's got here. So this group is actually becoming a weak group. So now it's actually becoming uh, a danger for black. So it's hard to say what black should do. Black's earlier mistakes are starting to add up and it's becoming difficult. White, this is not a good move. Stop doing this. <laughs> Stop doing this. I would definitely do it now. Even if I die, even if I lose a few stones here, I would just take all the points. Just take all the points. And even if uh, something happens here, I'm not gonna lose everything there's no way i'm gonna lose everything so at worst let's say at worst i lose a couple stones just with something right uh i still destroyed all these points on top so it's still better for black of course be more sente that's weird all right i think we've gone over all the major points Okay, so this game, let's see, what what are the main ideas? Uh, both players have a lot of strange moves. I think you guys need to work on your shapes and ideas. 
Uh, and that's actually one of the most difficult things to learn uh, as you're getting started because it requires experience and study and it requires a lot of it. And it's not something you just know offhand. You have to actually learn it over time. So I recommend playing a lot of games. Play lots and lots of games and then get those games reviewed. I think that's just the best method for you guys right now. You need a lot of shapes. Uh, and of course, do go problems. Make sure your reading's still okay. Uh, but you need a lot of shapes, a lot of interesting concepts. You have kind of good ideas, but not the right moves, and you're not seeing the whole board or the whole combinations. So I think you guys just need experience. That's all it is. You just got these two players just like experience. Um, they got some, but uh, I think right now. And what I mean by experience, guys, I don't mean the um, how many years you've been playing. I mean how many hours you have played. This means even if you've played two years and you play one game a week, that is not equal to someone who's played one year and plays one game every day. So think about that. Uh, and that's and one game every day is even not that good. Just play at this level. Just play like uh, 10 to 15 minute games. I would say 15 minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minute games. And then play like five or more games a day if you can uh or take the weekends off or something uh i would say try and play 20 to 25 games a week minimum and then try and get uh at least five to ten of them reviewed uh, try to focus on the ones you lost get those reviewed I, that's what i recommend if you want to improve and actually i think everyone can improve that with that method uh that's a method that everyone can improve from uh of course there's some some people have to focus and learn one thing before they learn the next thing However, um, most people, you can actually improve just using that method. Just play like 20 to 20 plus games a week and then get like 5 to 10 of them reviewed and make the ones that get reviewed the ones you lost. And I think uh, a lot of people can improve that way. Um, but yeah, these two players, I think, just have a lot of weird shapes and um, they have some interesting ideas and it looks like they have uh, some good knowledge, but now they need to focus down and get in the right direction and uh, make their moves um, more spot on, um, make their reading sharper. So I would say do go problems and play like 20 plus games a week. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Thank you for submitting it, and remember guys, if you would like a chance to get your own game reviewed, please see the link in the description below. Until the next video, and I will see you guys next time.